So how do you find the right way to memorialize a day that we all wish never even had to happen? And that is now the job of the Virginia Beach May 31st Memorial Committee. And tonight, they met for the first time. And your side's Brett Hall was there and introduces us to some of the members and why they felt the need to do this. Brian Keith Cox. Tara Wilch Gallagher. Mary Lou Yale. Nearly three years later, it's still described as surreal. This really is an opportunity for you to unpack some of the story. The story all in this room have of a day a city engineer, police say without warning, shot and killed 12 people, injuring four others at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center. There's still a lot of healing that needs to take place. And today, at the first meeting of the Memorial Committee, the people here began their journey of trying to design and find a place for a forever tribute to that dreadful day, a physical space to allow that healing, education, and inspiration. Some way where the whole community can come together. I, I, would, I would probably like to see that. Irvin Cox, sitting around the table with thoughts of his brother, Ryan Keith Cox, sitting at the top of his mind. He's always, always. While he's not formally on the committee, which includes council members, former employees, and just those who knew the victims well, he wants to be a part of the brainstorming process, which he says his brother wouldn't have even wanted. Nothing. <laughs> he wouldn't. Really? Yep. Keith wanted no attention. None. At all. But he says sometimes a big brother has to lead. I want to make sure that all 12 are represented well with this and uh, from the beginning from what I've seen so far I believe they all will be. The committee is going to meet again tomorrow night and they will continue to meet until the memorial is dedicated. When that will be however we're unsure. In Virginia Beach, Brett Hall 10 on your side. Thank you Brett.